Welcome back to another episode of Fixes and Feedback. This is where we put our thinking caps on and come up with some creative ways for Tesla to be able to improve their products. Just before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, and more importantly, leave your comments below as to what you think. Today's episode, we're going to talk about blind spot monitoring and blind spot alerts that Tesla has implemented. While their blind spot monitoring system is sort of the standard in terms of sensors, uh, the blind spot alerts are different than other cars. Other car manufacturers use hardware in the side view mirrors to indicate and to present alerts to the driver. In addition to some that also put it in the actual instrument cluster, Tesla is strictly software based in this regard. They only have options to put it in the uh, in, inside of the instrument cluster and not necessarily adding new hardware. So today we're going to talk about some creative ways just using the software without using any type of hardware updates or hardware changes that Tesla can improve their blind spot alerts in their cars. But before we get into that, let's first look at what Tesla initially envisioned for autopilot and the blind spot detection, blind spot monitoring system. Here are two screens. The first screen here is the sort of prototype for autopilot, the visual concept, if you will, for what autopilot was supposed to look like. Lots of information, lots of detail, lots of visualization of the things that the car is doing in terms of uh, the distance from the car in front of you, as well as the details of the lines to the left and right of you. And for the most part, we've gotten a majority of that functionality uh, in the actual autopilot. But here's a screen now that also shows the blind spot detection uh, system in action, where you see now someone turns the turn signal on. It shows a car obviously behind it. Uh, and it also shows a red indicator for both the car and the turn signal to say, hey, if you make this turn, it's going to be a collision and advises the driver not to make that particular turn. So I thought that was a really good way uh, that they envisioned using it. And, I, and unfortunately, they haven't put that into practice. Uh, part one is they haven't found a way to visualize um, cars to the left and right within that blind spot section that are out of view of the main cameras. Obviously, with the newer cars, uh, Autopilot 2, they have the 360 camera so they can get better visualization and verification that a car is indeed there. But for Autopilot 1, you're only going to have those that one camera in the front, uh, which will show you the cars within view. So any car to the left and right, you're not going to be able to see. I think that doesn't preclude them from being able to, at, very, at the very least, put something in to help indicate better that something's in the blind spot and it's unsafe to turn. Okay, so... First, first thing they could do very clearly and plainly is implement uh, something right now that would be just like they're showing in this screen, which is the turn signal. Make the turn signal turn red when you're looking to make a turn. Uh, your eyes are gonna be on the instrument cluster because you wanna make sure your signal's on. Your turn signal will be on. You're gonna look over your shoulder to your left. You're gonna look over inside the mirror and make sure it's clear. But if that turn signal is red, you should instantly know and be able to see that, hey, it's not safe to make this turn. Red, I think that's a good visual cue for people to see. They can see it while they're turning. They can see it through their periphery uh, to be able to determine whether they should make that, that lane change. Another thing that they could use is leverage that sort of glowing effect of the instrument cluster that's currently present for autopilot. Um, it has the ability to highlight the entire instrument cluster or parts of the instrument cluster with the new interface that they have out now, or the new indicator where it's just the top of the uh, top of the instrument cluster that highlights. Let's leverage some of that technology and start to overlay to the left and right wherever it may be unsafe to change lanes. Obviously, when you're just putting in your turn signal, a, a flash of red to let them know that it's not safe to change lanes. That's another that's another way that they can implement something. So pretty cool, relatively easy. Again, all based within the confines of what they already have to make it happen. Another thing that they can do uh, to, to make it easier to see that there can be potential danger if they make this lane change is actually make the lane glow red or turn red. Um, if you notice when you drive on autopilot, uh, the lane that you're in is highlighted. And as you make a lane change, the lane that you were previously in dims out and goes sort of the, the natural gray of the, uh, the instrument cluster. And, that they, and, the, and the lane that you turn into is a little bit more highlighted and pronounced. Simply highlighting a lane when you turn the turn signal on uh, to change lanes could be a very good indicator. Again, vis visible in the instrument cluster, obviously, uh, and also visible through the periphery. If you're just keeping your eyes on the road and you're looking at the lane, you could glance, you could see the, the, the lane blinking red or turning red to indicate that it's not safe to turn into that particular 
lane. And again, just making it a, a lot easier to be able to see so that when you have those visual cues, those visual indicators, um, you're making an informed decision. So I think these are all good suggestions that Tesla could use to make their blind spot alerts a little bit more visible and actionable to the driver. Uh, would love to know your thoughts. Maybe you have some more suggestions, some more ideas. Love to put them in the comments. Let's get Tesla looking at this and hopefully they are going to implement something similar to this or something completely different for uh, their version 9 software that they're working on. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let's get some eyes. Let's get some ears on this from Tesla and see if we can help uh, improve the product. Talk to you soon.